This tutorial is going to show you how to take a graphic that's of your logo, and most of the time when you have a graphic here, your logo it also includes some some sort of a white background uh, around it. Uh, most of the time, it's not going to be anything that's transparent. And what we need to do is get rid of that white background, make it transparent, and then move it over to another graphic, which in this case is a photograph, so that only uh, the only thing that is seen with your logo is the actual logo and not the white uh, border that's around it. Uh, so the way to do that is I actually open up our graphic. It's a uh, it's a JPEG file, and it has the white background around it. And if you look over in the layers, you'll see that this layer is the only one that's in there, and it has a little lock next to it. And because of that lock, uh, I'm not able to change anything the way that it is because it is a lockdown layer. In order to remove that little lock, what you want to do is double-click the thumbnail, and just go ahead and hit OK. Now you can see that the lock is now gone, and I can do whatever I want to to this particular layer. So what I want to do now is select the white area only that's around the border, I'm sorry, that's around the logo. In order to do that, I'm going to move over to the Magic Wand tool, which is in our uh, set of tools over here. You can see it looks like a little wand. I'm just going to click outside uh, in this white area, and you'll see that it actually puts little ants, they call marching ants, around the outside of the, uh, the logo and uh, the actual border of the logo. So what it's really doing is it's selecting only the white areas um, around the logo and not the logo itself. So I can easily now just hit the delete key and what you see is the little checkered pattern of uh, white and gray checkered pattern. What that means is this uh, white is gone and what's behind it is, is transparent. So whenever I move the logo into the other area, anything that used to be white will now just uh, be the graphic that's behind it in the new graphic. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit Control D on the keyboard and Control D uh, removes the marching ants. I'm going to go and select the uh, regular uh, move tool and I'm going to grab the logo and I'm going to pull it and drag it into the graphic of the photograph. Now you can see that it's obviously it's too large. Uh, it's covering everybody's faces and what I want to do is I want to make it smaller and drop it down to the uh, to the bottom right hand side. So in order to do that uh, you'll see on the um, I forgot to mention this, you'll see in the right hand side of our layers we now have two layers in this particular graphic. We have the one that's the um, that's the background and we have one that's the border. So you can see when I click on the little eyeball uh, it'll uh, show you the two different graphics and the two different layers. So now that we have this layer on top, oops, hit the wrong one. Now that we have this layer on top, I'm going to go and I'm going to hit Edit, Transform, and Scale. And when I do that, you can see, I don't know if it's hard to see here, but it actually puts a square around the, the logo and it puts little um, handles on the corners and the sides. And with these handles, they allow you to adjust the size of the logo. Now, if I just click on the corner and I move it around, you can see that it's can uh, you can make it really narrow, really large, um, high, thin, whatever. It just makes it all distorted. But what you want to do in order to keep it proportionate, so you don't change the actual dimensions of the logo's uh, width or height by themselves, if you hold the Shift key down, now what that does is that only lets you adjust the height and width, and it's going to stay proportionate. It's not going to um, be all distorted. So I'm going to lo make the, um, the logo a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller, and I'm going to double click it, and now I have a smaller logo in this area. Now what I want to do is I'm going to minimize that, so I'm going to blow this up right now. We're only looking at this at a 66% uh, zoom rate, so I'm going to hit the zoom tool, which is the little magnifying glass. I'm going to click on it, which makes it bigger. We're now at 100%, which is what the graphic actually looks like. And what I want to do is I have the logo, I have the bottom right hand side, and I'm just going to add a little drop shadow. And it's so simple to do in Photoshop, it's not even funny. But you, in order to create the drop shadow, you just go back to the layer where the graphic is, and you double click that layer. And what that'll do is that'll bring up the layer style window. And the very first option that's in here is the drop shadow. So you can apply a drop shadow. So I'm going to slide this over so we can kind of see it put it on the logo. Click on the drop shadow, um, and if I hit the drop shadow uh, button, it'll bring up all of the different controls for a drop shadow. So you can change the distance, you can change the spread, and you can change the size of the drop shadow, and you can also change the angle of the drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is, um, 
make this down, sp spread around five, and we hit OK. And now you can see, let me put it behind something as well, you can see there's actually a black drop shadow going around the logo. Adds a little bit of dimension to it. And I'm going to drop it down to the bottom here, bottom corner. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this graphic. And that's about it. That's how easy it is to take a, uh, a graphic that you have of your logo, or any kind of graphic that has some sort of a white border that you want to get rid of, and apply it to another uh, photograph or another image and adjust the size of it.